Hi, my name is Ashley King and I'm a children's book illustrator. So today I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step drawing of a new character called Arnold. He's not an aardvark, he is not an antelope, he's an actual fact, an alpaca. And this is a new book called Arnold the Alpaca, written by the wonderful Glyn Pennell and illustrated by me. So to start the drawing off, I'm going to be using a Sharpie pen and we're going to be drawing Arnold's mouth. So you can use pencils, crayons, or whatever else you've got available at home. So to begin with, you're going to start drawing his nose, just like this. So this is going to be his nostril, which you can colour in. And then from here, you're going to draw a line coming down. This is going to represent the bridge of his nose. Like so. And then from here, a big swoosh down. So this is going to represent the front of his face. And we're going to join this by doing a J shape. Like so. And this is going to be forming his mouth, which you can kind of see on here. And then loop it around. Like so his chin and then the bottom of his face if you look closely Arnold has huge teeth just here so when I'm drawing I like to exaggerate shape and size so to begin with you're going to draw three teeth here one two three, and then again underneath, so another three teeth, and then he's got huge buck teeth right at the front of his mouth, so directly underneath his nose area, draw two more teeth, like so. So next we're going to start building his big fluffy body up, so Arnold has an Elvis like quiff as you can see on the cover just here. So where we have the top of his nose, if you draw a huge bubble shape like this. Doesn't matter if it's not overly neat. And then again, just follow these lines. They're like giant fluffy clouds. Like this. And that's to form his quiff. And then from here, you have lots of smaller fluffy clouds to connect to the bottom of his face. We're then going to add an ear, which goes right the way up like this, like a leaf shape. And then in this space here, you add another tip of his ear. And we'll fill that in with another line, like so. Next, we're going to start doing his neck. So Arnold has a long neck, because that's what alpacas and llamas both have. So you're going to start by doing your fluffy clouds again all the way down your page, like that, and then just at the bottom of his face, I'm going to connect that last little fluffy cloud all the way down to create his neck. So next we're going to do his eye. So I tend to use a circle template to draw my eyes with because I'm terrible at drawing circles. So I don't think there is one big enough here. It's going to have to be freehand. So Arnold has a huge big eye just here. So if I stand there, I'm going to draw a big circle. Just like this. That's not that bad actually. And then underneath, we'll draw a line 
This is to represent where his cheek area is. And he has a big, thick eyebrow. So you do kind of like little banana shapes. And eyebrows are great for captivating expression. So as Arnold is a friendly character, he's gonna have really thick eyebrows shaped like this. And then we're gonna add his pupil, which is gonna be, let's go, let's go here. So our Arnold is quite cheeky. And we're going to colour that back in. And you can be really neat with yours. There we go. Like so. So to add texture to Arnold's fur, we're going to make him look really fluffy. So I tend to do a C shape, like this. And another one. So it's like a double C and then you go back on yourself doing the same and then you repeat this it does take some time but trust me it works you do this all over and you don't have to be neat you can be quite quick with your hand movements here and the idea is that you fill the whole of his body in this way and this is going to add the texture make them look really fluffy, because alpacas aren't quite fluffy, aren't they? So you're going to do this all over until it... So to finish things off, all you need to do is add in a little bit of hair into the inside of his ear, just like so. Don't forget to do the other ear at the back. Add a few little dots on the top of his nose, just add a bit of texture. And then you can also add in a tongue in the inside of his mouth. And that's it, we're all done. So for your chance to win this original sign drawing, all you have to do is follow myself on at Ash Illustrates on Instagram and at Pennell's restaurant to follow Glyn Pennell. And we're also going to be giving away a signed copy of the book, which we'll dedicate to you. So I hope you've enjoyed today's draw along and I'll see you again soon. Bye.